my favorite holiday tradition with my wife, Ernestine, and my quote unquote daughter, Hazel, is watching four Christmas movies in no particular order. Number one, any of the Scrooge movies, but my favorite is from all the way back in 1938. I don't know if you know it, but you should. It's A Christmas Carol, starring Reginald Owen as Ebenezer Scrooge. And by the way, I think I identify with this classic Charles Dickens tale because I have some Scrooge in me. Maybe a lot of Scrooge in me, if you ask my wife, Ernestine. I do like to think I have a big heart, as Scrooge was made to discover in himself by the ghosts, who of course showed him what a hell on earth his, his life was about to become. In fact, Ernestine is, is actually to me what Scrooge's dead partner, Jacob Marley, is to him in A Christmas Carol. She, she effectively, on almost a daily basis, drags her chains across our floors, as Marley's ghost does in the movie, trying to, to make me realize, make me stop, make me understand that I'm just working way too hard, too relentlessly hard, constantly doing shows on holidays, as we did on Thanksgiving, and I'm rarely stopping to smell the flowers, which I am mostly let die around me by lack of watering. So I will watch the 1938 A Christmas Carol, and maybe once again I will wake up for the new year. Number two, Home Alone. What mother son heart that movie has. Parts of it make me tear up every single time. But what a heart tugging scene the, the church scene is. Yet then what hilarity ensues when the sun goes down and the wet bandits attempt to rob the home where Kevin is alone. I must admit, last Christmas, <laughs> we did fast forward to the Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern scenes versus Macaulay Culkin. They're, they're just so all-time clever. They're so cartoonishly, but believably funny. I mean, Pesci with his hair on fire is, is top five for me all-time comedic moments. Whew. Thank you, John Hughes, for that movie. May you rest in peace. And by the way, Home Alone 2 is one sequel that lives up to the original. Number three on our Christmas watch list is Christmas Vacation. Thank you again, John Hughes. It is not easy to make me laugh out loud. Trust me on that. And that movie has at least five, for me, laugh out louds. I mean, Chevy Chase snowboarding down the hill at warp speed is one, and the, the squirrel in the Christmas tree is another. Ernestine and I both just howl every year and fall off the couch. Another movie with a huge Christmas heart, big belly laughs. Thank you, John Hughes. And last but not least, Die Hard, which definitely, no questions asked, is a Christmas movie. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from The Skip Bayless Show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.